All right, guys, what's going on? It's not welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. And today we are back on workshop maps, not for a Sudoku or puzzle based uh, escape room. We're actually going to play an escape room. Um, we are going to stick with Zeke's Chambers, though, as they have um, quite a few um, regular escape room type chambers on there. And we're actually going to play the first one, which is called the Bard Room version 1.7. So, um, yeah, let me know if you're uh, enjoying Escape Simulator, guys. Let me know if you want to see more of it. If you've got any um, workshop chambers you might know of that might be good or um, worth a play, please do let me know. I'll be more than interested to uh, check them out. But um, for now, let's um, let's have a look to see what we've got here. So we have it looks like four locks to escape, four coloured locks. We need to um, find here. Uh, I thought I got an indication here. There's a coat hanger. Wooden chair. We got some. This is the. Um, I know we haven't played it yet in the campaign, but this is the. Um, this is the Victorian style, I believe. I have played one of these with um, Death Wish before. So that's a 10 there. Double five. Is it a ten or is it a double five? There are various domino tiles here, which is interesting. Is it telling me I don't know what's it telling me? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll investigate what else is going on around here. We can't take any of the books or the goblet or anything. Is there anything? Can't pick the clock up. There is a Battleship piece, though, that's uh, important. Just hiding behind the picture there. I don't think custom maps have tokens. Um, I don't think they have support for tokens at the moment, so I need to watch at the moment too much. So I'm guessing there is going to be four battleship pieces to find. And um, there's another one. We'll put in there. So we've got white, black equals something plus something, and white is a cube, and they all stand alone. That is the note we get. Some poker chips. Can't read my... Not gonna break out into song, don't worry. What have we got here? Misses are the key Do not to not ending up dead. That's basic sort of battleship rules, I guess. I'm guessing we don't want to be... Oh, there's something else here as well. Oh, here. Got a poster. We've got a poster of the solar system, which just appears when I rotate it that way for some reason. It's um, interesting. Some pillows. Some more poker chips. What have we actually got in the poker chip? Okay, it's got two fifties, I think, and a one hundred. I don't know if the die around the outside was um, had any sort of meaning, but I don't think it does. Oh. Okay, so we can place the poker chips in certain positions here. Okay, I see more stuff under this rug here. Move this carpet. Out of the way. Okay, so I wonder if this is telling me... I, wonder if, I wondered if that was telling me like the positioning of these... Um, poker chips, maybe. I can't pick the black one up, so I don't know whether or not it has a value on it. Okay. That's second in orbital racing. There's our final battleship piece. And we have a book stack. Interesting, we could pick that one up. Ok, 
Okay. I'm wondering if the cup position has anything to do with things here. Okay, well, let's have another look over here. So what have we got? We've got Earth, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter. Some more poker chips. Pluto is still nine in my heart. Yeah, we, I have this conversation with my kids quite often, actually. I'll be honest. Okay, we've got a lock here. With Earth. Obviously, Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet. Okay, it was just doing that. Okay, that's the red key. Alright, so there was nothing else to do with the battleship then. It's one lock down. Four to go. Let's get this chair out of the way here. So. Obviously, black is two and white is one, but they all stand alone. What does that mean? Um, what does it mean by that? I'm not sure. Have I got enough chips now to do this? Yes, I have, or we can at least attempt to do it. I wonder if it's mirrored slightly. So this would sit here. And then we would go down here. Green. Uh, hold on. Green, blue. And the red would go there. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Key number two obtained. Three keys to go. Also, what is this? There's another combination here. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Mate, it's blue pegs. Three. Um. But how do we do that? We need. I mean, there's clusters here. So, like, you could cluster that together as a six. Cluster that together, but that would be more than ten. Um. I'm guessing it goes to nine. Yeah, okay. So it's everything. It could be everything less than nine. Or that's only two of them. So. I'm not sure on that at the moment. We have three locks. And I'm guessing. Each of the locks are going to give us... Oh, hold on a minute. What if it's... What if we think about this as time? Can we think about it as time? No, because Earth would be at a 10 o'clock position. Hold on. Hold on. No, it won't be time. It will be... Um, I think it'll be their position in the solar system, won't it? So Earth is three... Is that Jupiter? My, I don't know, I need that. My very educated mother just... Jupiter is fifth. My very educated mother just served. Saturn is seven, if that is seven. My very educated mother. Okay, maybe that's not... The right order for the planets. Oh, 
Hold on. Doesn't Jupiter have rings as well as Saturn? Uh, hold on. Yeah, doesn't Jupiter have rings as well? That looks like Mars. So that's either... It could be a one. Or is, is that Pluto? Because that's what the note was saying, wasn't it? About... Hold on. Three, six, nine, seven, if that's Saturn. So no reference to the planets here, other than what we've already got, which is a little bit... I just think though, if looking at like the size of the planets and that note that said about, but I always thought Jupiter, Pluto, sorry, was more of a, it's a, it's obviously the coldest planet. This looks like quite a hot planet, which would then mean it's, Mercury. My very educated mother just served us nine pizzas. All the way over there. Earth is definitely three. Jupiter is five. Saturn is six. Why did I put it at seven? There we go. So it, yeah, it's it's um, Earth, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn. Clearly, I need to go back and um, learn my planets or learn more about my planets. Now this one, I don't know, I don't know how to solve this. This has got something to do with the blue pegs, right? But I don't know how we know how we go about solving that with the blue pegs. I'll be honest. Let's um, get rid of some of this stuff here. So I don't know why I've got this book stack. Why do I want the book stack? Well, I can't put it back, so. All right, let's see if we can't, but two more to go. Let's see if we can't work something out about this. Um, these dominoes. Pull this down. So number, it says, oh wow, that's, um, that pin mode doesn't work very well on that note, does it? So black, equals dice plus dice. White equals dice. Is it saying that white equals the numbers that add up from one dice, whereas black equals two? Because that would be 21 and that would be 42. So can we make... What have we got there? We've got um, eight. Eight and five. Eight and five is 13, plus five is 18, so there wasn't be enough there. 10, 20, yeah, there's too many there. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on, no, it's saying the black tiles add up to Okay, so they're, they're odd. They're the odd tiles. So I don't know what we need to do with them, but what it's telling me is all black tiles add up to 10, 
and white tiles add up to five, which is true of these two tiles here and those two tiles there. But what do we do with them? We need to open this lock and there is five it's five digits here. So is it not just Two, three, three, one, four. Hmm. That is not the answer. Huh, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? I'm not sure. What do means by they all stand alone? I know we, we're making 10, and all these tiles can stand alone if we make 10. Oh, uh, oh, no. What is this order here? And what do these numbers mean to me? Two, one. Or would make that. But then you can't make ten from these two the black tiles. That would be a two. Two, four, one. So you'd need... I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe that's eight, and maybe that's seven. Does it go that high? Eight, two, seven, four, one. Okay. What confused me there was because dominoes only go up to a value of six. So to have more than that, that's, I think, what threw me the most. Okay, so now we just need to work out this... What's going on with this battleship one? So we want four digits. Reset it all to zero for now. It's four digits, but... What are those four digits telling me? There's more packet chips there. Okay. Maybe I've got to work out the numerical value from one to four. So that would be five, six, five, six, eight, three. Five, six, three. Nope. Let's do it the other way. What if we want A, B, C, D? Because there's one, there's one peg in each letter and each number. I 
are there are there any which don't intersect ships this one this one that one does okay so there's only two that intersect ships so we can't flip that the other way either Or is it a case that it's two, three, four, ten? Uh, no, we can't have ten. It could be a zero. But I don't know what order they would be. Zero. Zero, two. Zero, two, three, four. I mean, this to that, so 1 to 9 is 45, 55, if we count all of the 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2. That was just taking all of the pegs that are in the one to zero, uh, one, two, three, and four, and I didn't however many pegs were in each row. Misses are the key to not ending up dead. All right, dead. Oh, okay, we've missed a really obvious clue here. It's dead. So it is five, one, six, five. Five, one, six, five. Five, one, six, five. There we go. Again, it's always I, I thought I was done with the note, but you're never you're never done with the note. It's always good to double check. It was a pretty cool room though. I really enjoyed that one. So uh, we'll be checking out a few more from Zeke soon, and um, hopefully, um, if you guys like I said, if you guys have got any chambers that you would like me to tackle, any rooms you'd like me to tackle, please do let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to add them to the list. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. All that sort of stuff. Until next time, happy gaming.